Hey y'all, it's Renee from Zone 9B Panhandle, Florida region. Welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm on the struggle bus with this summer cold. It is a killer, let me tell ya. But I can see the bus stop is ahead of me. I'm gonna be getting off this bus real soon, I hope. But um, we have some rain finally due to come in. So I gotta get a couple of things in the ground from that haul that I showed you in the last video. So I have six plants of four different uh, Proven Winners varieties. Uh, one was mislabeled, so uh, I'll have to try to see if I can find the actual name for it. But I have two Super Bells. Miss Lilac is a match here. And uh, this sh should be a perennial in my zone. So I'm in 9B and it says here that they are perennials from 9A to 11B. So I'm hoping that this will come back next year, probably die to the ground, but then come back. But you know, even still, 648, can't complain with that price, right? And it'll get about 12 inches uh, tall and wide. And then the other one that was mislabeled is another Super Bell. And uh, it's a pretty purple with a little bit of yellow in the middle. So uh, I am definitely looking forward to putting this in the ground too. Should be the same statistics on it. But as you can see, it is definitely not dreamsicle. No, not dreamsicle. No, not orange at all. Okay, and then I have a Blue My Mind Dwarf Morning Glory. And you can see it's all closed up now, but certainly in the morning, uh, it definitely has those beautiful blue flowers. Love me the cool tones, just saying, love that. Uh, and again, about 12 inches should be, um, well, actually this one, I gotta read you this one. It says, oh, annual acceptance zones 9A to 11B. So this one's a good, this one should come back for me again. The one that's a little more sketch though is Euphorbia. So I have Diamond Frost Euphorbia, and this one is 10A to 11B. So maybe not, but it is gorgeous. And I might just try growing this one from seed next year and treating it as an annual in my ground. So um, we're gonna get these in the soil. Um, <clears throat> I will not lie to you, it is hot. How do you know summer's arrived in Florida? Two things. Number one, windows are sweating. No, my seals have not broken. It's just condensation on the outside because the inside is so much cooler and drier than the outside. And then the second thing is, is the yellow flies are out. So I have a couple of tips on yellow flies. Uh, sunscreen, they don't like the taste of it. So that definitely helps. My husband wears these really thick soccer socks when he goes to grill. They don't like the big socks. Um, also, if you can get their wings wet, you can stun them for a little while or just do the sneak attack. Watch them feast on you. Watch them feast, 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 and then boo. But you gotta be like really close and then do the snag attack. And, uh, and you know, I'm not the type of one that's gonna be putting out those black tar balls trying to kill every fly in sight because I happen to know that I have quite a few little birdies that like to eat these little guys but I am not going to uh, allow them to just feast on me. Uh, if you're tagging me, I'm gonna tag you back. But otherwise, I'm not looking for you to die, okay? I know there's like a whole ecosystem and I'm all for that. All right, so let's see. I've gone ahead because it was so hot. I went ahead and just mixed my soil off camera and I dug my little holes. So now I can do the sexy part of gardening. <laughs> and get these in the ground. So I'm gonna be using my Biotone in these and lots of water and hopefully tomorrow morning we will have some water also to go on these babies. And then I'll see how they do here. These are actually first timers for all of, uh, for my yard and I love trying new things. Uh, you know, I kind of subscribe to that uh, Hort Tube, Jim Putman, uh, one of everything. I like having one of everything too. I'm right there with you, Jim. Um, but I do have some doubles, especially things that I've propagated. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, take care of these sweethearts now. All right, we're gonna be putting them in along this border that I've just recently kind of weeded out. Uh, the uh, mulch chip drop never worked out for me, so we're gonna go buy some mulch uh, this Mother's Day. Uh, that's my Mother's Day gift. 
the, the gift that, that just keeps on giving. And um, I just want to tell you that sometimes it's okay to let the hole pick you. It might not be exactly straight in line, but if you've got a huge root from a tree, sometimes it's easier to just go to the side of it. And that's what I do. So they may not be perfectly in a row, but you know what? The, the plant's going to be happier, and I don't really want to have to cut out uh, a four-inch diameter or three-inch diameter uh, root that's under the ground. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm putting the morning glory here because this area is going to be a little bit more shaded than some of the other areas are. So we're going to put a little bit of this in there. I like to water it in. And then I have already pre-watered my plants. Look at those roots. They're gorgeous. Make sure the size of the hole is just right. Perfect. Oh gosh, that's like the easiest plant ever. I love these small pots. Sometimes, you know, small pots are the way to go. Smaller the hole, easier to get in, less shock to the plant. I just love the delicateness of these. Oh, so beautiful. Good hole for you. I've amended it with my third, third, third method of soil because there is plenty of good drainage around it with the sand I have as my natural uh, ground. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. And this means now that we're in the ground, I will not have to go and water these pots every day or every other day. Woohoo! Those look absolutely glorious there. Oh my gosh, look how wonderful. Love it, love it. All right. I can't wait to see those 
be bigger and more beautiful than they are now. can't believe I filmed all that. I only had like 25% on my camera. I have an iPhone 8. I need to get a better camera, don't I? Hmm. Ah, it was good to have a little chore done, something to look forward to after not feeling so well the past couple of days. I still gotta get my, um, my white pintas and some Blue Days Evovolus, I think that's how you pronounce it, in the ground. And then all these one gallon pots that you see behind me, all those are filled with false gingers. So last year on the clearance rack, I picked up two plants. Uh-huh. And then I took it out of its pot and I divided up all the bulbs. So now they're all coming up. I've done this before in another part of my garden and they're all coming up right now but those that were in the ground and they died down completely in the winter. Uh, and I can see that the ones I've planted previously, they multiply like crazy. They're great. They come in all sorts of different colors too. So I'm gonna try to fill in this area back here where my uh, Hannah Matoy Japanese maple was planted previously and just kind of fill in this area back here with all those plants kind of trying to get the goal to be that all the ground is covered and less likely for weeds and grass to grow. Um, really important to me to have gotten rid of all that grass and weedy stuff around my roses because it makes for poor airflow and that leaves them more exposed to mildew issues and black spot. So uh, I'm glad I took care of that. We're gonna get some mulch on that real soon and uh, hope you're able to go out in your world today and make something beautiful. And until the next one, Bye, y'all.